Welcome to Cut Daisies and Unicorns. This is Trailer Tuesday. And just like every Trailer Tuesday, it's going to be filled with all of our thoughts concerning the interview coming up on Thursday. And it's probably going to be filled with a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't know what else is there that we can even throw into the Trailer Tuesday. I don't know, man. I I really don't know. <laughs> I, I don't like to get to the place where... I'm running on empty, you know, but it, it's really interesting. I find that when we do interviews, like it takes a lot out of me because I'm so like viscerally a part of mm -hmm. with what's going on. And so since we shoot the trailers following the interview, it's good because the interview is on my mind. Right. But then I'm like, <sighs> yeah, breathe in because you get invested, breathe out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Emotionally. Mm -hmm. I was moved to tears at least once during that interview. Yeah. 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 And I think that that's the, the parts of it. I mean, and hopefully everyone out there in, in the podcast and video and audio, they, they can see that we're not just going to throw out some, some junk, but we're going to be invested in it. <laughs> I'm always throwing out junk, man. <laughs> I yeah, but we are. Right. Yeah, we are. Um, the uh, the thing that comes to mind if people were wondering, okay, well, what is this all about? Well, for the three people who are going to watch the trailer or listen, uh, you're going to hear some fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Can I say it again? No, that was three times. That's enough. It's probably um, going to be fantastic. It's yeah. Uh, we we have a delightful human being who has fully embraced all of her unicornness, mm -hmm. Clem. Right. And she, what just what a lovely interview. Mm -hmm. She's well read, well thought through, and you would almost think that she spent time going over the questions we sent over. <laughs> and by almost think, it's going to be very apparent that she was able to spend some time with the questions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's the 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 good thing about sending questions out before, right? Right. Is that they're not just thinking, like, I don't know what's going to happen here. Everything's going to be spontaneous. Yeah. But it's also like, no, I really want to dig into depth on what you're going to approach with. Yeah. You know, I don't, and she's very thoughtful about that. Yeah, yeah, yep. And uh, lovely, lovely stories of her existence as a human being. And it, it'll really, it'll be a good listen. Yeah, because we talk about uh, mental health issues. We, we talk about, you know, women's equality issues. Yeah. And, uh, we, I mean, we even throw in, you know, sexism, racism. I mean, all of that, just a wide variety of topics to dig into. Yep. Yep. Income disparity. Yep. Yep. Mm. Lots of stuff. So if you are afraid to hear a feminine voice on the podcast, I would highly encourage you to strap on your parachute and don't be afraid. Just fall right into it. Mm -hmm. Jump in. Yep. Count to 20, pull the cord. Right. Because as we emphasize, the things that you don't know are the things that you should learn. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it's really okay to be able to listen to people from a different perspective, to hear what they have to say, you don't have to agree with everything, right. but at least you're being invited in on how someone else is processing life. Yeah. That's it. It is good stuff to be able to consider. Yeah. Um, because it's, you know, it's the same, you know, it, it, it's the same process for me of journeying through life and learning. And if you're not open to learning, like there, I think that something's going to be wrong with you. Mm -hmm. And at a fundamental level, 
yeah. there's going to be something wrong. If you're not open to learning people's stories and understanding where they're coming from, um, there's going to be something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Boy, people are like, why do you hate? <laughs> I know, I mean, that, but I got to be honest, right? I mean, I got to be able to say, like, I, I feel like that is going to be there if you're not open to learning yeah and and they say the the older you get the more you're uh you get stuck in your ways yeah yeah to me i feel like the the older i'm getting the more i'm open to hearing more hmm. maybe it's um maybe i'm flawed i don't know <laughs> well i don't know either i don't know I don't know about with where you're at. Like, I mean, I, I get your perspective. I totally do. I'm, I'm even, I'm in the band. Like I'll, I'll, I'll run with that. I wouldn't like, I, I'm actually, I'm trying to take in what it would feel like to be a person who would say, Nope. Learned enough. Screeching halt. I don't want to learn anymore. Like somebody, somebody like literally coming and ascending to that thought process. All done learning. Punch the clock. I'm done. I guess they would be a unicorn in their own respect because wow. that would be unique. I mean, if and if there's anybody out there right now who's saying like, I don't want to learn anything. I don't, I'm not willing to grow anymore. <laughs> um, maybe you can reach out to us because we would love to have a, a conversation with you to learn because I don't, I don't get it. And I'd like to learn why you think that there's nothing left to learn. Well, and my, my question is, does that send you into a paradoxical circle? Oh. We're going to be talking with someone <laughs> who's going to be teaching us about them not wanting to learn. That would be an existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, Phil. World's collision. No, don't. <laughs> I mean, do you realize what you're bringing to the table right now? I'm not really sure I want your email, so I'll let Phil read it. and We'll go from there because I'm, maybe I'm closed-minded. <laughs> to that regard. <laughs> to, I, to the not learners. Yeah. That's weird. It uh, It is, uh, that's... But that's the dynamic. I'd like to be able to be open to even hearing why somebody wouldn't. I mean, I. But doesn't it go against their whole philosophy if they've chosen not to learn? I suppose that they haven't said that they are not willing to teach. But what does it mean to teach someone else about not learning? Yeah, I think this is where the existential crisis comes in because oh. it's like there, there's, there's competing. <laughs> Competing, crashing worldviews. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what's what's going to win out? Chances are, no one's going to reach out because they're not going to be like, I don't want it. You know, they probably don't even listen, anyways. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So we have a community of cut daisies and unicorn listeners that are all saying, "No, no, we like to learn." So we're looking for you to be able to share with others how you like to learn. I've been I've been called out for my um, my podcast voice. Uh oh. Yep. People are like, "Hey, when you get on the podcast, you kind of take on this NPR uh, personality, and your voice gets all velvety and smooth." <laughs> Is there is there something that's really wrong with velvety and smooth? <laughs> yeah, if it's coming from a bottle of black velvet, everything's wrong with it. <laughs> Bill Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bill Jesse. I think he actually has just received two shout outs I, officially. I think we've you know we've done that, and he we know Bill's not listening to the podcast. No. Yeah. But maybe somebody wants to send it to him. Who knows? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So much. So much to be able to learn. So much to be able to uh, 
to talk about. Yeah, so I, I somebody did say um, they were it, it reminded them of the sweaty balls um, SNL skit sometimes when we talk, and I'm like, mm -mm, I don't get that, but I mean, we don't talk about sweaty balls mm -hmm. or um, baked goods. Nope. <laughs> and we're committed going forward to not talking about it, much like the non-learner of not learning. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, I can draw a line there. Yeah. I think you, you committed to also not dancing. Yeah. There was another line. Yeah. So you're not even looking to learn. How to dance. Right. So somebody, we got somebody on the podcast who was like, I teach the world to dance. And you're like, no, no, I'm not willing to. <laughs> I've just seen me dance on video before yeah. when, like, I appropriately thought that it felt like good motion and movement uh -huh. in, in review after watching it, I'm like, I should never do that again. So so there's video of you dancing. Yeah. It's out there in the ether? I'm not saying where. <laughs> if somebody has video of <laughs> Steve dancing. <laughs> oh, man. We'll, we'll receive that. <laughs> Um, I would actually ascribe and say that I'm a firm believer in that this white man can't jump either. Mm. Yeah. My my vertical is non-existent. Is it a negative vertical? Well, that would put me like working towards being six feet under. And so the answer to that is no. no. But um, yeah, both feet off the ground uh -huh. at the same time. It's been years. Not looking to restart that again. Right. Although I have noticed um, that going through the pandemic, my uh, my limberness has decreased. Hmm. I might pick up yoga. Hmm. Have you ever yoga? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have. <laughs> It actually is much harder than it looks. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, I mean, and even when, I mean, because yoga, much of yoga is stretching. See, but I think I need to. Right. And and I that's where when you talked about limberness and it, it would help with being a little bit more limber, but it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult than, than it sounds. I watch my dog do the downward dog <laughs> multiple times in a day. And I mean, she's got it down. She does. Shout out to Gypsy. Uh -huh. She's not listening to She's the podcast. She's not listening either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, folks, if you didn't get anything out of this trailer, except for Thursday, we have a unicorn. Her name is Clem, and it's an incredible, incredible, incredible interview. Great conversation. You're going to learn a lot. And we'll move on to some existential, enlightening moments to be able to share down the road. Actually, I think that's our next re record. New podcast with Phil and Steve, a PS edition. Oh, there's more coming up, too. There will be more. <laughs> so if a tree falls in the woods, but there's no one there to hear it, does it make any noise? So if we put podcasts out, but no one's listening to it, are we really able to be heard? Uh -huh. The answer is yes. You have to push play. Right. Push play. Everybody push play. Push subscribe. Do the thumbs up. The big thumbs. The big like. Are up. Yeah. And just know that every time you do, that the federal government is listening to you listen to us. <laughs> the birds are watching. <laughs> oh, it's so true. All right, we're wrapping up the trailer. And we're grateful for you. We're glad you're here and listening. And we'll look forward to our next time together on Thursday. We will. All right, take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs>